crazy country ever. Right, well, I've just pulled up here after just checking one of my hooks. I'm skip casting for mangrove jack this afternoon and uh, I'm throwing around these weedless worm hooks with a weight on them and then a little twist lock. But what I want to do is take you through some of my favourite plastics for doing this style of fishing for mangrove jack. But the first thing, I just need to touch on this. This hook, I've just been fishing with this and I've felt it on the way in and it's, it's not as sharp as it comes out of the packet brand new. So I'm just going to change that out. It's one of the things that's really important. You'll get a lot of hits and um, just because of the nature of the turned up weedless hook and the way that it sits right in close to the top of a plastic. Like when you're fishing this thing, it sits like right in line. The fish has really got to be nipped the moment it touches that hook point. So it's super important when you're fishing with these uh, little EWG hooks that you're running them as sharp as possible. And I usually carry my little file with me and I'm constantly like just fixing it up because it cops a beating out here. Just skipping it in and hitting logs and up against rocks and banks and stuff like that. It's in hard against cover. The little hook point can start to um, just blunt up a little bit. So it's really important that you're running with a super catchy hook so it should be sort of catching your finger as you run it past it that's what you want so that's the little rig there i've done a lot of uh, videos on these things now and how to use these things for skip casting but um, so make sure you check those out if you're interested in skip casting and you haven't seen those but i'll just take you through some of my favorites this season there's been a few that have just hit the market and there's a few favorites that uh, i've had for a few years now Probably the one that I've used the most is this Eco Gear Bolt, and you can see the finish on that. You're basically wanting to fish like a three to five inch paddle tail plastic that resembles like a little potty mullet, like this one, or a little garfish, or a little whiting pattern, something like that. And uh, these Eco Gear Bolts are just fantastic for it. So they're the packets that they come in. Um, some of these style of baits are, are kind of hard to find because it's not really hit the mainstream market yet, uh, this, this style of fishing. But I still use the, the Z-Man diesel minnows in like the four inch or in the three. And you can skip those, they're just a little bit more difficult. But uh, probably my favorites would have to be that Eco Gear Bolt. The, um, what else have I got here? These Flash J Shads by Fish Arrow. You can see like a really predominant eye there and that big paddle tail there, I really like that. And that's actually got an internal foil flash in the belly of it. It's super realistic for a like a potty or a whiting finish. These are these are called a Gotham Shad by Berkeley. And you can't get this color because it's a bleeded color. It's sat in a tackle box next to a couple of pink baits and it's come out looking perfectly uh, resemblant of a little mangrove jack not by chance, but uh, yeah, these got them shads have also got like a little Kevlar matting in there that really shines and glistens with the natural light and it's got a fleck through it, um, a really predominant eye and you can see a very similar profile to the Eco Gear Bolt. Uh, these RT shads are another one. These are by Molex and you can see super realistic profile, little fin structures and gill cages there, big eye and uh, paddle tail with like a sunrise finish those little rays that come up off the tail there so the paddling tail just gives it that thumping action that you want and the things that set these lures apart is how fast they get going when you get it tight in against cover I might just be able to show you while I'm talking through this some of the casting and, and what it looks like to be doing this skip casting because you're really landing it right in as close as you can get underneath that heavy cover the jacks are sitting in there and they're waiting for that thumping tail and that presentation to get going like it's scooting away like a little bait fish. So uh, you kind of want like a, a fairly loose tail and the action that you want is that paddle tail side to side just going frantic as soon as the bait hits the water and starts to come back out. A couple of the other options that I, that I use is um, this is a new one from Live Target. This is a slow roll shiner. And you can see there, it's got like a clear back end to it that looks actually really realistic. It's got this crazy finish internally inside like a, a 
completely clear coating, outer coating, or like a second layer to that plastic, but the finish on the head and everything just is, you know, it's got to be one of the best soft plastic finishes I've seen. And they've only just been released by Live Target, they're sort of hitting stores now. And I really like these because they've got little locator holes when you're rigging it, and then like a, a, a slit up the top and a line under the, under the center at the bottom so you can kind of, it just helps you with your rigging. It's really important when you're rigging these things, just quickly, I'll show you that regardless of whatever plastic you're using, it's sitting really flat and really in line. Like it should be dead level basically so you can get a perfect retrieve and get that action going straight back to you and it's not sort of like rolling and bending up on itself. Um, what else have I got in here? So those slow roll shiners, there's like, there's a few different sizes. There's a couple, here's another one. So that's, yeah, there's like a, a good variety there depending on what you're after. And I'd even use those for little bass and trevs and tarp on, things like that. Um, what else? There's the RT shads, that's the packet that you're looking for. And then, you know, there's a couple of other options that you can use which you know, they might not be like a bait, a bait fish, but they can still skip. These little, um, these are turbo crawls, they still skip. Um, not as good, but definitely these hard legs frogs, which are a bit like the finesse frogs, but they're a much bigger version. These things are fantastic for skipping, but you want to be running a, an unweighted hook. So you don't want, you don't really want that weight on the bottom of it. And if you're just getting into skip casting, I'd suggest something like that, like a, a Z-Man plastic that's going to float so that if you're having trouble or you've, you know, it's going to happen when you're getting into this that you're getting overruns and bird's nests and things like that and you've got to sort of pick out the bird's nest and if your lure's sinking to the bottom while you're doing it, you're going to get snagged up even with a weedless worm hook. So running an unweighted, like an EWG hook by Gamagatsu, for example, or by Strategic, uh, VMC hooks, something like that, it's going to skip super easy and these will still go bomb on jacks as well. Um, first cast have got little little paddle tails as well and they've got a great little finish on them and a belly slit, good profile. But there's some of the options, so if you're looking around in the shops and you're like, what should I use, what should I get for skip casting, you're trying to find little potty mullet imitations with a paddle tail of about four to five inches I reckon. And if you've got like a, a profile at the front of the bait that's really smooth and then a broad body like that, you can just get a bit more of a, a surface to skip on. If you're running something that's a little bit small, like a little trick swims or something like that, they don't have the surface to skim across the surface like a rock. And they'll just dig in and that's the end of your skip casting session. And the same with a lot of those sort of shrimp patterns, you can get once you get good at it, it's less of a problem, but things like the live target shrimp and things like that, there's just too many legs and things and it just digs in. So they're some of my favorites for skip casting for mangrove jack. Hopefully that points you in the right direction. I'm not really trying to sell you lures, although with all my reviews, it kind of might feel that way. I just want to try and help you out and get you going with some of my favorites. And uh, hopefully that's gonna help you get onto a few more fish and enjoy your time on the water a bit more. So if you've got any questions on um, you know, what, what I look for, anything else that I haven't touched on, uh, make sure you leave a, a comment in the section below. And um, yeah, I'll try and get back to you as best as I can. I'm, I'm getting a lot of comments at the moment and I'm really trying to keep up with that because it's really important that if you guys have got a question, um, I'm really here to answer them or make a video on it, which is probably what, um, what's come around because of this, this video has come on the back of a couple of questions like what are my favorites. All right, I'm gonna get back into it and hopefully get a mangrove jack. I'll see you in the next video.